Uhuru Kenyatta on Thursday made history by becoming the first African head of state to be hosted by President Joe Biden at the White House since taking office in January this year. Trade, COVID-19 and climate change were top agenda during the meeting between the two heads of state. At the historic meeting between President Uhuru Kenyatta and the U.S. President Joe Biden on Thursday, the U.S. government announced a donation of 17 million more COVID-19 vaccines to the African Union, a move that was welcomed by President Kenyatta. Well behind the rest of the world in terms of being able to uh, um, vaccinate our people. So. Any additional support, like the President of this mentioned, is greatly welcome, and uh, we look forward to that continued partnership. On the war against terrorism, President Kenyatta applauded the U.S. for being a strong partner for Kenya. Depending where we have an opportunity to meet when the Vice President, when we come over again on issues related to strengthening the partnership and the relationship between our two countries, and it's really a great pleasure and honor to see you uh, again. President Kenyatta said Kenya was keen on deepening its trade and investment relations with the U.S. by investing in partnerships that promote American business interests while advancing the country's socioeconomic transformation agenda. The Kenyan leader said his country had made tremendous progress in climate change adaptation and mitigation and welcomed the U.S. back to the Paris Agreement. This is an area where Kenya has made tremendous progress in her own right and where we are firmly committed to um, the Paris uh, Agreement and we're glad to see the United States is now join and we look forward to working very closely together on that particular agenda. The White House meeting was a culmination of President Kenyatta's successful official visit of the U.S. during which he chaired his first United Nations Security Council meeting at the U.N. headquarters in New York. Purita Museo, Lunchtime News.